Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. The ruling party promised to solve Nigeria's security and economic problems if re-elected next year. Momodu, who is, a, who is the director of strategic communications of the PDP presidential campaign, criticized the document in an article published on Sunday. In the article titled APC Renewed Hope or Fallen Hope, he, asked, he, he said the document is filed with half thoughts poor reasoning and copied notes from Abiola's Hope 93 manifesto. Abiola was the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party in the 1993 election. He was adjudged to have won the presidential poll before it was annulled by Ibrahim Babangida, the then head of state. Momodu emphasized the difference between Abiola and Tinubu, describing the latter's presidential bid as a fallen hope. He described the manifesto as an insult to the sensibility and needs of Nigerians and accused the authors of copy and paste. After carefully reading through the much-awaited APC presidential campaign manifesto that was released over the weekend, we cannot but conclude that the elephant has given birth to an ant. After such a long delay, what the APC presidential candidate has come up with is a series of platitudes, half thoughts poor reasoning and copied notes packaged and presented as renewed hope. The APC and its presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu could not even come up with something original. Renewed hope 2023, really? This is again another attempt by the APC candidates to appropriate Basharun MKO Abiola's legacy. It would be more salutary if he were to run on his own steam instead of copying the memory of a man whose life trajectory was uncommon and whose hope for Nigeria was noble, and the APC candidate should be reminded that 1993 is far different from 2023, the, ov the Ovation publisher said. The late MKO Abiola was known for the industry and brilliance. Shall we ask what the APC candidate is known for, whereas MKO's Hope 93 was a genuine cause? For the APC and Nigerians, it's a fallen hope, and that's the message of Bola Tinubu and the APC campaign in 2023. In all honesty, the 80-page document that the APC has put together comes across as a little more than an insult to the sensibility and needs of Nigerians. At a time when the country is in dire need of clear leadership, with vision and courage, all the APC seems capable of doing is to generally copy and paste re regurgitated ideas of others with nothing original or breathtaking. As Waju says, he knows the way. With due respect, he does not. On more than one occasion, he has advertised himself as the architect of the victory of the APC in 2015. Their party slogan then was change. In eight years, they have not been able to change anything positively. They have led Nigeria into a ditch. Inflation is close to 21%. Unemployment rate is 33%. The Naira is one of the worst performing currencies against the dollar in the world. The suicide rate in the country has risen terribly because the people have lost hope. Divorce rate too because of the APC and its leaders have castrated families and ruined the other room. Thus, they have worsened the condition of Nigerians. Now, in 2022, Tinubu says he wants to take Nigerians on a journey. A journey to nowhere, most certainly. Or, to be precise, to perdition. A week ago, he promised that he would ensure the continuity of the current administration. What does he want to continue? If I may ask, the poverty, agony and cluelessness that the APC have imposed on Nigerians. Like a crafty student trying to avoid being caught in, a, in the act of plag plagiarism, the authors of the document have tried to rewrite some unoriginal ideas. The authors of the document do not only offend Nigerians with their collection of cliches, cliches and pedestrian ideas, but they offend, expose and indict the APC candidate, Chief Bola Tinubu. I urge you in the spirit of fairness to interrogate what the APC calls a manifesto. You will see that they are promising exactly what they have not been able to achieve in eight years. Wow. You know, uh, some things are funny. I can see now that most presidential spokes, you know, person, especially their, their presidential campaign council spokesmen, what they are out for now is uh, to look for loopholes from opposition, from their opponent, and use it against them. Uh, to me, I believe um, the best any spokesman can do is 
to speak and to promote his uh, 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 candidate. But unfortunately, I see that uh, there are more of uh, accusing and uh, speaking ill of their opponent. This is a clear uh, show that their candidate has nothing to offer and they really have nothing up there and they really have nothing to show to the people. So when they see what the, the, the opponent are trying to present, they try as much as possible to rubbish it and to make it to have no meaning before the people of the country and the, and the followers. That is exactly what I, the game I see these people playing right now. Now, uh, Dele Momodo, who happened to be the, the spokesman for the you know, uh, article presidential campaign, the PPC, has come out to accuse uh, you know, Bola Tunubu of APC of repackaging you know, MKO, uh, MKO Abiola's manifestos. Now, I'm going to take it step by step here. I'm a very neutral person. I'm not biased. In the areas that I will speak, I will, I will, I will measure, you know, accuse people or try to tackle people, I will do that plainly. There is this uh, adage that said, good thing is what we're emulating. Now, when, if they say, Bola Tunubu repackage MKO Abiola's manifestos, as far as I'm concerned, it's a welcome development. I have no issues with that move. I'll give my reasons. First, I want to make it clear that I am not a supporter of Bola Metunubu, neither am I a member of you know, APC. But when I say, uh, when I, this is my job, so I'm here to be fair to both to anyone who is you know, uh, in this race. Now, Emko Abiola has a wonderful manifesto in 1993 when he won the election and he was denied, put in prison, and he died in that process. Bola Tunubu and Nadekos were men who fought for the MQ Abiola's issue. In fact, most of them went, went on Ezra after MQ Abiola was arrested and detained that way they were fighting. The ones who didn't go, for an, who didn't go to Ezra were arrested and were detained here. It was after the death of Abacha that most of them were released. Beko Koti was one of those people. Now, they were fighting for justice. They were fighting for Emiko Abiola. Emiko Abiola was their leader as at that time. A man was elected but never takes the seat of power. Now, his man, who I will call one of his boy, Nobola Ametunubu, is hoping to become Nigeria president if elected in 2023. I don't see anything wrong if Emiko Abiola manifestos is appealing to him and uh, if they can follow the plan of Emiko Abiola to, 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 to build a new Nigeria. I don't see anything wrong in it if they decide to pick up that Emiko Abiola you know, manifesto you know, and uh, edit it, remove what they think is not necessary, and add what they think is needful. I don't see any issue on that, as, as far as I'm concerned. I don't see anything wrong in it. I do not see anything wrong in it. If Emiko Abiola happened to be alive today and see that a presidential candidate is working off his manifesto to deliver it to the people of Nigeria, he will be a proud man wherever he is. He will be a proud man. That is an, a show that he, he had his plans and his dream are not going down the drill for Nigerians. That's my take. If, I were, if Emiko Abiola were to see, if possible that the dead can see, and he see that his men who worked for him, who fought for him while he was detained, and all that has picked up his manifestos fighting to become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and use his manifesto, his plan, leader plan to run the country. He will be a great, he will be a happy man where he is. In fact, his dream is fulfilled. His dream is fulfilled. 
because his dream did not go down the drill. There are people who have picked it up and running with it. And that is what life is all about. Government is a continuous, a, a, a continuous talk. It's not a one-man show. And that is the reason why African government, African, we are, especially Nigeria, we are where we are today, because there's no continuity. When a president leaves the office, the new one that comes come with his own agenda and his own plan, and this laid down plan cannot be followed. I want to salute um, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu for revisiting Emiko Abiola's um, manifestos and working on it for, be, for a better Nigeria if he's elected come 2023. So let us not uh, uh, come out, let, let it not be you know, uh, accusing fingers and uh, trying to wash down people and uh, ridiculing them because of election. As far as I'm concerned, this thing doesn't really count. It doesn't make sense. Well, this is just my take. I want you to feel free to comment below. Let us know what you think concerning this and also subscribe to our channel for more to come. Thank you.